Assalamu alaikum. Cost volume profit analysis is explained in four videos. In the first video, we will discuss the concept of cost behavior analysis. In the second video, we will solve some exercises related to cost behavior analysis. In the third video, we will explain cost volume profit analysis. And in the last video, we will do exercises on cost volume profit analysis. So in this video, we will distinguish between variable and fixed cost. We will explain the significance of the relevant range and we will explain the concept of mixed cost. But in the beginning of this session, I would like to thank my son Muhammad Abdullah Khan who gifted me an iPad along with all the necessary accessories without which making these videos would not have been possible. I would like to thank Nabiya Khan for helping me out in preparing these awesome slides. I would like to thank my wife Samina for her care, encouragement and constant support who allowed me to use time for her in making this video. In order to manage any size of business, it is important to understand how costs respond to changes in sales volume and the effect of cost and revenues on profits. A prerequisite to understand cost volume profit relationships is to have a knowledge about how cost behaves. Knowledge of cost behavior helps management plan operations and decide between alternative course of action. Cost behavior anal analysis is the study of how specific costs respond to changes in the level of business activity. Some costs change while other costs remain the same. For example, for Saudi Airlines, the longer the flight, the higher the fuel cost. On the other hand, Royal Commission Hospital's cost to staff the emergency room on any given night are relatively constant, regardless of the number of patients treated. It applies to all types of entities. The starting point in cost behavior analysis is measuring the key business activities. Let us talk about the activity level. Activity level may be expressed in terms of sales dollars in a retail company, miles driven in a trucking company or room occupancy in a hotel. Companies may use more than one measurement base. For example, a manufacturer may use direct labor hours or units of output for manufacturing costs and sales revenue or units sold for selling expenses. For an activity level to be useful in cost behavior analysis, changes in the level or volume of activity should be correlated with changes in cost, referred as the activity or volume index. The activity index identifies the activity that causes changes in the behavior of cost. It helps to classify the behavior of cost in response to changes in activity levels into three categories, variable cost, fixed cost, or mixed cost. Let us now talk about variable cost. Variable cost are costs that vary in total directly and proportionately with changes in the activity level. It remains the same per unit at every level of activity. If the level increases 10%, the total variable cost will increase by 10%. If the level of activity decreases by 25%, variable cost will decrease by 25%. For a manufacturer, direct material and direct labor are examples of variable cost. For a merchandiser, 
कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड सेल्स कमीशन आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट फॉर ए ट्रकिंग कंपनी पेट्रोल इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट लेट एस लुक इन टू एन एग्जाम्पल इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड डेमन कंपनी मैन्युफैक्चर टैबलेट कंप्यूटर्स दैट कंटेन ए टेन डॉलर कैमरा The activity index is the number of tablets produced. As Demon manufactures each tablet, the total cost of the camera increases by ten dollars. As the illustration shows, total cost of the cameras will be twenty thousand if Demon produces two thousand tablets and hundred thousand when it produces. 10000 tablets companies that rely heavily on labor to manufacture manufacture a product are likely to have many variable cost in contrast companies that use a high proportion of machinery and equipment in producing revenue will have a few variable cost as part b of the illustration shows The unit cost of ten for the camera is the same, whether Demon produces two thousand units or ten thousand units. In the next slide, we will talk about the cost behavior of fixed cost. Fixed cost are cost that remain the same in total, regardless of changes in the activity level. so fixed cost vary inversely with activity as volume increases unit cost declines and vice versa examples include rent salaries or depreciation on building and equipment let us explain it more with the help of an example to illustrate the the behavior of fixed cost assume that demon company leases its productive facilities at a cost of 10000 per month total fixed cost of the facilities will remain constant at every level of activity let us see the cost behavior of fixed cost on a per unit basis in the next slide on a per unit basis the cost of rent declines as activity increases at 2000 units the unit cost per tablet is 5 that is 10000 divided by 2000 when demon produces 10000 tablets the unit cost of the rent is only 1 per tablet because of automation and less use of employee labor companies have more fixed cost and less of variable cost let us talk about the variable cost behavior in the relevant range in the next slide the activity index for total variable cost was a straight line this may make you believe that the variable cost is linear if a relationship is a straight line then changes in the activity level will result in a direct and proportional change in the variable cost for example if the activity level doubles the cost doubles however in most business situations a straight line relationship does not exist for variable cost throughout the entire range of possible activity at a low level of activity company may not get quantity discounts for raw materials at high level of activity labor cost may increase sharply because of overtime pay also at high activity levels material cost may increase because of spoilage etc as a result in the real world the relationship between the behavior of a variable cost 
and changes in the activity level is often curvy linear as shown in this illustration. In the curve sections of the line, a change in the activity index will not result in a direct proportional change in the variable cost. That is, a doubling of the activity index will not result in any exact doubling of the variable cost. The variable cost may be more than double or it may be less than double. Let us talk about fixed cost behavior in the relevant range in the next slide. Total fixed cost also do not have a straight line relationship over the entire range of activity. Some fixed cost will not change, but it is possible for management to change other fixed cost. For example, in some instances, salaried employees have a fixed salary and they may be replaced with freelance workers whose salary is going to be variable. Companies don't operate at 0% or 100% capacity. Instead, companies often operate over a range such as 40 to 80 of the capacity. The range over which a company expects to operate during a year is called the relevant range of the activity index. You can see that within the relevant range, a straight line relationship generally exists for both variable and fixed cost. Let us now talk about cost behavior for mixed cost. Mixed cost are cost that contain both a variable element and a fixed element. It changes in total but not proportionately with changes in the activity level. The rental of a truck is a good example of a mixed cost. Assume that local rental terms for a truck including insurance are 50 per day plus 50 cent per mile. When determining the cost of a one day rental, the per day charge is a fixed cost with respect to the miles driven. Whereas the mileage charge is a variable cost. Let us look into a more comprehensive example. Helena company reports the following total cost at two levels of production. So direct material, direct labor and indirect material are variable. While depreciation and rent are fixed. Maintenance and utilities are mixed cost. Let us now talk about high and low method. The high low method uses the total cost incurred at the high and low levels of activity to classify mixed cost into fixed and variable components. The difference in cost between the high and low level represents variable cost since only the variable cost element can change as activity levels change. Let us look into the steps involved in high-low method. The first step is to determine variable cost per unit from this formula changes in total cost divided by high minus low activity level that will give us variable cost per unit. We have a data for Metro Transit Company and they, have, they are providing the maintenance cost and mileage data for its fleet of buses for over a period of six months. The high and low level of activities are 50,000 and 20,000 miles. The maintenance cost at these two levels are 63,000 and 30,000 respectively. The difference in maintenance cost 
will be 63 minus 30 that is uh, 33,000. The difference in maintenance cost is 33,000. So the variable cost per unit will be 33,000 divided by 30,000 that is equal to 1 per unit. Next, we will determine the fixed cost by subtracting the total variable cost at either the high or low level of activity from the total cost at that activity. Now, at high, the total cost is 63 and at low, the total cost is 30. The variable cost per unit is 1.1. For 50,000, it will be 55,000 and for 20,000, it will be 22. So the difference is 8,000 in either case. So the maintenance cost are 8,000 per month of fixed cost plus 1.1 per mile of variable cost. So we can calculate the cost for 45,000 miles. Estimated fixed cost will remain the same 8,000 and the variable cost is 1.1 per unit so this will be 49500 and the total will be 57500 the graph in the illustration plots the 6 months data for metro transit company the red line drawn in the graph connect the high and low data points and therefore represents the equation that we just solved using the high-low method. I would like to end this video with explaining one more illustration. Bynes company accumulates the following data concerning a mixed cost using units produced as the activity level. We have to compute the variable and fixed cost element using the high-low method and we have to estimate the total cost if the company produces 6,000 units. Now, the high is 9,800 and low is 7,000 while the total cost at high is 14,740 and at low it is 11,100. The variable cost is 14,740 minus high minus low divided by high minus low units produced. That is equal to 1.3 per unit. The fixed cost is 14,740 minus 12,740 that is 1.3 times 9,800 units that will give you a fixed cost of 2,000. So the fixed cost is we can 2,000. So the Estimated total cost if the company produces 6,000 units is 2,000 that is fixed 1.3 per unit of variable times unit 6,000 that is equal to 9,800. So this completes our discussion on cost behavior analysis. Remember effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question regarding this session, then please don't hesitate to ask in the comment box or by email and inshallah I will reply you back. Thank you so much. Happy learning.